was re-watching this because... What did you watch oh, it? Oh, no, yeah. what made me think? I think I was flicking through Amazon Prime a while ago and Teenage Son was saying, oh, I need to... Oh, I'll scroll through with him if he's in the room and I go, oh, you should watch that, you should watch that, yeah. you should watch that. He said, I'll oh, just make it, stick him in the favourite, just make a list. Yeah, I'll me. do that, yeah. And and this was one of the things where uh, I thought, oh, 17-year-old boy. When this came out, if you're a 17-year-old boy, when this came out, people would just go nuts for it. I disagree. Um, I think if you're a 29-year-old man when this came out, you were freaking out as well. As well. <laughs> So uh, he said, was this really popular at the time? And I said, yeah, I, I think it's worth what He wasn't aware of a comic book movie. He didn't, he didn't know that. He'd well, he never heard of the comic book character. So but, we so we yeah. sat and watched that the other night. But Blade is is noted as sort of starting it off, isn't it? Isn't he noted as being the first comic book movie? That could be good, wasn't it? It was introduction yeah, so of it, black leather and, you know, the, the sort of, well, it's obviously, for us, it's 18 rated, isn't it, I think? It is a yes, it is eighteen. So yeah, after that you've got you know Matrix films after that, and then the X Men films are quite heavily yep. influenced by that, aren't they? The, yeah. the, the action style. It's mad actually with, with Blade because it was before I checked it came out before Matrix. Yeah, yeah. But there's a bit where all the goons are running in with their machine guns and stuff like that, and it really felt like that same sort of energy as, as the um, the lobby sequence. Obviously, it doesn't go into all bullet time running up the walls and stuff, but it it, it, it really reminded me of Matrix. It felt, to be honest, it felt like it was copying Matrix a little bit, which is weird that it came before it. Although, do you reckon, I mean, you know, the Matrix, wasn't it Wasn't it forever in development? So do you reckon there was some, you know, you always, we always wonder, you know, because there's a thing, isn't there, where you hear about films that are being released that are similar, you know, like you get something like, Armageddon and then Deep Impact. You know, you know, you get sort of two similar kind of films. Yeah. Makes you wonder well, if, if the Matrix was in, and they were like, oh, what, what, you know, what a new line of cinema doing? Oh, they're doing Blade, and it's all guns and kung fu, and it's this because I imagine the Matrix was, was was decades in the in the planning. I imagine, uh, possibly not, but yeah, you must it's imagine. Not to know. Now then, I'm 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 just going to throw this out there. I'm a super Blade fanboy, so nothing you say is going to change change that. How's it dated for you? How's it how's it stand up? Um n- or... not too not too bad actually. I, I thought actually going into it, I thought Stephen Dorf was really gonna annoy me. Yeah. Because he's not like I never, I never thought he particularly good anyway. And I thought that instead of uh <laughs> Wesley Snipes looking really cool, I just thought Again, watching it slightly different, watching it with the teenage son. I just yeah. thought whether he would just he would just cringe and just go, "Is he trying to be cool? He just looks pathetic." Um, it doesn't. It didn't really. I have to say, quite early on though, because I know that the <laughs> that gif you posted on Twitter, you know, yes. when he just yeah. like, is like going, sort of, yeah, yes. and he punches yeah. and he pulls <laughs> yeah. his fist. I laughed out loud at that bit. I thought that bit was so cheesy. That's it, ridiculous. Is that at the start? Is is it's, that when it when it's, it's near the start? The slaughterhouse so thing. Yeah, the bloodbath in the in the club. I mean, that's that's a great opening. That is so because I've, I've got a funny story. Kind of all, <laughs> you on. can al- almost predict what's going on. You can you can kind of guess that oh, he's he's meat, and the others are the vampires. But then when it all comes to the sprinklers, um, yeah, my son was just like, that's a bit weird. And then obviously it kind of made sense because when they all suddenly start vamping up and stuff, he, he, why does Wesley Snipes not get any blood on him? Because he's, because he's as cool as as f. Don't say because he's Wesley Snipes. Because <laughs> he's Wesley Snipes, and he's because he's cool. I don't know, don't know. It's it's the age old thing of when people are in water and the very next scene they're totally dry, isn't it? it it's but it's all it's about. worse. It's worse than that. The, like the sprinklers. I know the sprinklers stop when he suddenly starts killing people, but he's fighting these vampires are covered in blood. But even at the end when Stephen Dorff explodes, spoilers. The um, Whoa, not easy. a drop on him. Not a drop on him. Oh, <laughs> well, that's yeah. Do you know what? Yeah. Uh, and weirdly, right? So I think I've read somewhere that this is. Uh, it was directed by a special, uh, not spe- uh, martial art, like a stuntman, wasn't it? Am, am I right in that? I read a fact. Steve, always... Steve, Stephen Norrington. I don't know his background. I, I'm sure I read somewhere. I mean, you, you know what? It, it's all for me. It's all about those Wesley types poses and the moves. And yes, it, I think if you love, you know, I mean, for me. I love chop sake, I love the kung fu, the sword play. Then you chuck in some vampires, then you chuck in some sort of 90s house club, house court rave. Then you chuck in some, you know, bits and bobs and stylized things. And there's some, yeah, there's some pretty poor effects, isn't there? Some of the things 
don't like there's a scene where he fires I, I wish you were a, I wish you were a movie producer and that was your pitch yeah just get me a director I want some chop socky I want some bits and bobs in there I want a rave scene well just go make it you say that <laughs> we were talking last week on our musicals episode about the guy who said I want to do Bugs in Malone but it's kids <laughs> so, <laughs> so some of these weird pitches no so I've got a funny story about this so I took my wife to watch this when we're uh, 1999 so yeah we we were out we were married then actually so 92 is it okay no it's, uh, this is 1998 wasn't it this film oh, i don't know I'll, yeah I'll... yeah it, yeah i looked earlier today the matrix is 99 i think this was 98 oh, so okay. we were married at the time so i took her into this and i was like oh my god yeah it's wesley snipes because don't forget demolition man had already been out and this is out so you've got demolition man passenger 57 uh, those are some of the sort of those are some of the sort of bigger ones aren't they and I was like, oh, and, you know, Blade is a comic character, blah, 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 blah. So I'm giving it all that and really selling it up to her. She doesn't like horror films, but she's okay with action and sort of 15 rated. Well, there's a bit... Uh, I'm not I'm not going to worry about spoilers. This film's that old. If you haven't seen it now, you ought to see it. But yeah. uh, one, of the camp main char- one of the main bad guys gets burnt up, doesn't he? And he's like a, a crispy corpse, isn't he, on, on, a, on a hospital bed. And as they're yeah. inspecting me, he comes to life, doesn't he? And it, uh, that was quite a jump scare film. Well, yeah, yeah, it still, yeah, the jump, the jump still worked. Yeah, it's good. well, I remember, I remember at the cinema, we're holding hands. Any other guy listening to this will know this feeling. And my wife, I can feel the coldness seeping through, and I can feel it go rigid. And I'm thinking, oh god, here we go. And as we left the cinema, she was like. What the hell have you made me watch there? I was like, oh, no, sorry. Because <laughs> I, I didn't, honestly, didn't, it was stronger than I thought it was going to be. You know, there's a lot more bloodshed and stuff. But, yeah, so I, I get some of it doesn't work. I think the end CGI is a bit ropey in places in there. And I think I mentioned a minute ago, there's, there's a bit where Blade shoots across the road at Stephen Dorff. Is that right? And that that has aged quite a bit, isn't it? But, you know, it's, it's what's available at the time. There's a bit where he, um, there's like a bit of a car chasey bit. He's, he's chasing a police car. There's a policeman he's tracking, isn't he? He's like a... Yeah, a, a familiar or something or whatever they call it. Like and a, it's like, you, you must remember this bit because you've probably watched it so... It's all like on fast forward. Yeah, it's really odd. It's really stylized, doesn't it? It's, it's stupid. Uh, <laughs> that looks absolutely stupid. Why, why are they in fast forward? I don't know. Around? I don't Is know. It, are they, are they trying to make it look like the cars are driving fast because they failed? It just looks lame. Is it is it meant to be some sort of weird passage of time? How the vampires view time? Anything you say, I'm going to try and defend just... it. So don't worry. But okay, uh... so, that, so, so <laughs> that bit's silly. The bit when he he goes yeah, <laughs> he doesn't say yeah. Obviously, I can't. You know, I'm trying to can't mime it over the over yes, a podcast. It's like a, it's like a he, fish clench pull down. So he, sh- yeah. he shoots a stake in the one guy's shoulder, and then he shoots another. St- stake into his other shoulder yeah. so he's pinned to the wall and he just clenches his fist and goes yeah I still do that now that's like too cool that is like it's not cool at all it's like he's so pleased with himself that bit is really lame uh, and I did I did I did laugh out loud I just thought it, it completely ruined the coolness of the, of, of the, of the so, scene so picture this scene like he's really pleased with himself because he's on his own he's got no he's got no one with him and I'm just, just like <laughs> he obviously just thinks he just thinks he's really, really cool and he's just <laughs> he doing, just doing all these things cool, like that. Like, he's, like he's just putting his leather jacket on and just like looking at himself in the mirror before he goes there like, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Why, why is he wearing shades all the time? Is there any reason for him to be wearing shades all no the time? No idea. He, has, he hasn't even got funny eyes because you'd imagine if he's half vampire. He has, he, he'd have, he has got funny well, eyes, hasn't he? He's got like slightly yellowy contacts. Yeah, his, but his they're really not intense. that odd, are they? Well, vampires don't need to wear sunglasses at night, so why does he need to wear? But them? again, it's it's nineties cool, isn't it? So it's sunglasses, black leather trench long, coat, long black tr- uh, trench coat, I like the, new rocky the, the, boots. There's a police scene, isn't there, where he goes into the police station and and just tears the place up. <laughs> a, now, are you going to watch Blade Two? Yeah, it's Guillermo del Toro. So we'll we'll talk about Blade Two next next show. Yeah, uh, um, pi- picture this. Yeah, picture this scene. Right, this. This sums it all up for me. So about, I don't know, say three, four years ago, I was at Comic-Con. Picture this. There's me dressed as Hellboy. So, so for anyone who doesn't for a, know... For a horrible second then, yeah. I thought that five years ago, there was me dressed as Blade. Well, wait a minute. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> right. So for anyone that knows me, I'm about five foot five, 
I'm, 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 well, I was in my late forties then. I'm not. I look nothing like Ron Perlman. So, so I'm short, a short, dumpy little Hellboy, and I spot oh, baby. a Blade cosplayer across the hall, and I absolutely freak out. I mean, I'm proper, I'm proper fangirling over this. And I was like, oh my god, and this guy, he was a young guy. He was, he was brilliant. He had fangs. He had the look. He was absolutely brilliant. And I was. I've got a photo of him somewhere. And I was like, man, you look really good. Very, very good. You know, that's for a, what, 30 year old film, is it? Something. Very, very good look of it, of him. No, uh, no, not 30, 2020 20 something. Uh, yeah, loved it, loved it. I like Blade. Blade 3 is a bit crap. I'll, sh- I'll say that now, but. Well, I will have to get to that. I'll, have to, I'll yeah. work my way through them. Because I watched, um, the, well, I watched these with my son. At Christmas, because I was like, I think I think Blade <laughs> Trinity was on TV. Christmas movies. So yeah. you watch Muppet Christmas Carol? No, just Blade. Home Alone. No, no, stick Blade on. Stick Blade on for your mother. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it was on. T- I think Blade Trinity was on TV. So I was like, oh no, we, we can't watch that because I was harping on how good it is. And he's like, no, no, you can't watch that till you've done your homework. So we have to watch Blade and Blade Two. But anyway, before we um, do, you know what else? Then, you know on. what else I can criticise about it? Well, everything, <laughs> everything I imagine. But yeah, come on. <laughs> Though obviously you're, you're, you know, you're just, you're not liking any of these. I'm going to poo-poo you know, whatever you in, say. Imperf- on, imperfections I'm finding <laughs> in the film. Uh, yeah. Chris Christopherson limping around with yes, his, yes. His, his metal bit attached to his, his leg. Yeah. I, I never understand that when people have those things like like that. I'm not quite sure what, how it's helping him. Um, it's just a bit of a waste of time, isn't it? Well, I think... <laughs> Whistle is a complete waste of time. Yeah, it, it, well, he's, he's the exposition man, isn't he? But and he gets, I, he, and he gets killed fairly. He doesn't, he don't, he's not. He's not barely in it. Well, is he? I think I always think with with Blade is what they did was they were like, okay, we're going to do all these things with Blade. We're going to we're going to do X, Y, Z, and actually, this is just going to be a one off film. And actually, it ended really well. And I thought, oh god, we've got to retcon it for Blade Two. I mean, I won't get into Blade Two, but I think it was meant to be a self contained one off movie, and then it probably did way better than anyone thought. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, yeah, we've got to do X, Y, Z now to get it get it sorted. Do you think it's a bit weird when his mum's chatting to him near the end and she's face, oh, yeah, and she's, <laughs> her face is really close to his nose? I know you could say, oh, it's not really his mum anymore, but it's... Yeah, it's a, odd. Because she's a vampire. Well, Annie didn't see her really since she was born, close, but yeah. She's really close to him and it's a little bit sexy and it's a bit weird and it kind of was felt uncomfortable in that scene. It's like, please don't be so close to his face. Please back up. It's just, yeah. You know what, you know what bothers the... me even worse about that? Is there's a bit, isn't there a skeleton or something on the floor? And he gets it and he stabs, th- is he stab it through her or someone else? He stabs through yeah. somebody with a skeleton bone into a brick wall or something. I'm like, oh, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure bones are less... Dense than brick yeah, walls. it looks like a thigh bone or something. <laughs> yeah, and she something, she yeah. turns to dust in like this sort of buffy turn to ash effect, and it, yeah, and it's just stuck in the wall. But he can push it into the wall because he's so hard. Well, exactly. What, what do you think? Put, put it up there and then kick it as well. <laughs> so, the, anyway, the, the effect the effects in it. The, there's a that bit when he gets chopped in half. Uh, yes, the blood. The bl- did that look good at the time? It looks dreadful. There's, bit, there's little yeah, bits where like, there's, it's not good there's now, splashes of blood and there's like little droplets of blood in the air and the blood's are dropping off the whatever the thing is, the temple at the end. Those bits look really um, bad. They really sort Ray, of stand Ray out. Harry Harrison, aren't they? Yeah. I'm but not of quite course, sure what those... Now, the, the, the bunch of businessmen types, Yes. when they when they get... They're being electrocuted by this weird temple thing and there's like a... The, there's, like, there's like a sort of vampire bat thing pulls out of their mouth, yeah, like a skeleton yeah. vampire thing that flies odd, around. Yeah. Know, Is what, that because they're know, original vampires or something? Yeah, I, I, I can brush over all that. But of course, Disney are doing are, they're doing this, they're doing Blade again, aren't they? I, 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 hope, I mean, I don't. Yeah, Disney. I was talking to this with, with my wife yesterday about. Well, it was actually about Catherine Hahn in One Division, which which I'll get on to in a minute. But as a family friendly company will will disney make blade a 15 or an 18 rate do you think i mean i think it needs well, my, lad, my, my lad said sort of this at the end of it when i was asking what he thought about it and he said um and i don't he didn't know about disney doing it he said if because i he didn't know it was a comic character i said he was like a marvel character and he said oh, if, if disney actually did that now with like proper budget like the marvel films are that could be an amazing film so i said to him that well they are um but is, is it going to be a series or a film? Going R-rated. 
No, I can't see it. Well, it's, uh, they've said it was a movie, haven't they? Oh, okay, so... Uh, what you... They, they, you can't do that for the same audience as Iron Man and Captain America, can you? Surely not. I mean, what are there any Marvel films that are rated higher than sort of... Is is Are any of them 15, right? I mean... No, uh, no, 12. I'm thinking they're, of the Ghost all, Rider films, you, but they're not Marvel, are they? So They're all they're all 12s in the UK, 12s, aren't they? Yeah, I can't and, and, see it. And Kevin Feige said that Deadpool will keep an R rating in America, so 15 over here, I guess. Yeah. But that, but he's got no plans on going edgier or a higher rating with any yeah, of the other see. franchises. Yeah, so for Blade, I mean, yes, you can get away with it with exploding and burning up vampires, but... And again, they, you know, I'm trying to think of another vampire film, which I mean, like Buffy was good. What was what was that? A twelve rating, but again, it's I don't know. I think I think Blade has to be fifteen rating. But then again, though, Marvel are still making great films and making loads of money, so they may have a clever way of doing it. It's just making the vampires like a threat or scary somehow. I yeah. don't know. But it'd be interesting because then they open up the whole. There's a world of vampires in the Marvel universe, and can they start introducing? Werewolf by night, and well, the yeah, because werewolves, isn't it? A Jonah, Jonah Jameson's son's a werewolf, isn't he? Isn't he man wolf? He's man wolf, yeah, yeah. So, so you just open up all these possibilities. And Dracula's appeared in I had a Doctor Strange comic when I was a kid with Dracula, in which I thought was really weird. Um, this because is... I probably didn't really know who either of those characters were at the time. Yeah, is this because it's all nowadays it's, 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 it's all IPs and rights and this that they're in it? Whereas back then, I think you say, Oh, yeah, let's. Stanley was like, anyone, oh, yeah, I'm just going to stick Dracula in <laughs> it's something. I th- yeah, I think I think Dracula's one of those ones, like Frankenstein, isn't he, where any, anyone can have it. Isn't oh, it to do with pu- the, the, the creators? Domain, uh, yeah, something. Yeah, the creator's been dead for 100 years. Yeah. Like so out of... Oh, we still haven't got a rating system, have we? Just say watch it or don't watch it. Watch it. It's really good. It, it's, it's dated. If you're of our it's, age... It's, you know, it's if, it's good, so it would be like a sort of a three three stars out of five for me. I think I think it's good. It's not it's not amazing. It's not bad. I, I enjoyed it past the time. It is a bit slow in the middle. It is a little bit dated. I, I think if you just for like an action movie, I mean, it's yeah. far better than what I've seen of any of the Underworld fil- films, which I don't like. I like the first it's a lot one. Better than, yeah, it's a lot better than those. I think they're dross. So I think yeah, I would I would recommend it. But you know you 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 know the kind of people are going to not like it though. People like oh, you. I hate, I hate to be <laughs> sated. I, I, I can't imagine my wife enjoying it. No, at well, all. put it this way: if if you like, uh, if you like the Matrix, if you like the Crow, if you like Underworld, if you like, you know, uh, Evil Dead, those we're, kind yeah. of things. You, we're talking about it. Like this, yeah. We're talking about as if there's, there's someone might be listening to our podcast and <laughs> not sure about whether I've never never seen Blade before. They probably have seen. They're probably Blade, thinking, but... what what film from the late nineties can I stick it's, on? It's, <laughs> yeah, like... it's, it's not really a case of is it worth a watch. It's actually is it worth a rewatch? Yeah, yeah it is, yes, it, it, yes, it is. There's yeah. nothing on it past the time. It didn't. It didn't I, I wasn't like impressed how amazing it was. I thought I thought it was good. If you're, a se- that, really. if you're a 17 year old listening to this you might not think it's that great but I think anyone anyone a bit older than that you might anyone at 30 yeah. years plus I think you'll probably like well, it yeah my, my, lad in, my lad enjoyed it he, he, I, he did think that Wesley Snipes still looks cool it, it, does, it doesn't look cheap it doesn't look cheesy and dated <laughs> okay. I think it's, the, sun, the sunglasses is a bit lame but like it's, it's you know stuff to do with his hair and when he's got that sort of like a body warmer type yeah jacket type thing black, on it black jacket vest thing yeah, yeah all, all that stuff looks quite cool and anyway the kids kids these days must still like it because it's a Fortnite skin so, oh don't, don't just just stop it <laughs> don't and, talk that's, and that's a and that's the true test of whether a film's any good or not. Yeah. Because they've got alien skins in Fortnite, they've got a blade skin. And so so you know that all the best films have Fortnite skins. I'm looking forward to them, you know, so, you know, maybe some of the characters from the, the musicals that we're talking do, do, do about. Do you think they're gonna have like an, an ET but, Fortnite skin? Or what about a uh, oh, uh, <laughs> Bugsy Malone? A Bugsy Malone Can you imagine Fortnite Bugsy, skin. Bugsy Malone season in Fortnite and they've all got splurge you kill it, instead you're of all splurging me. each other like just so that anyone knows, I can't, I can't stand for it. I can't stand for it because <laughs> I'm not because I'm not a 13 year old boy. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe to see more of our content.